Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm going to bring you inside my video software today. I'm working with this piece of video and I really wanted to share this with you because this is some of the worst training I've ever seen. And it usually falls under the umbrella or auspices of core training. Uh, and nothing could be further from the truth in terms of what core training really is all about. So let's just watch this video for a second. I don't know what gym this, this video comes out of, but I can guarantee you this kind of awful training occurs in a whole lot of gyms around uh, the country. You know, this whole idea of grabbing a dumbbell, sitting in a V up and then twisting back and forth. What's the point of this? You've heard me say more than once that the idea with core stability is really simple. It's meant to stop motion. That's the role of your core to decelerate, to slow down, to stop motion in places where it shouldn't be occurring. Now, look at the way their knees, legs are swinging back and forth. Everything is moving. There's no, there's no quality training going on in here at all. There's a lot of work. I mean, listen, they, their abs are burning, I'm sure, but they are wasting their time. And I would argue um, increasing their risk of injury. So I want to flip over here to YouTube. This is a video of um, Tara that I, that I loaded this morning. Again, different exercise entirely, but the exercise is not the point. How it's being done is the point. And while I was going through this prone hip controlled articular rotation with Terry, what she didn't realize at the time was she was training core stability. She, she wasn't even thinking about it. But in fact, that's exactly what she was doing. So if you go back to my definition earlier and just look at the position of her trunk, she's in a nice neutral position. She's gone through one set of uh, hip controlled articular rotations in a prone position here. She's going to do a little bit of a push up from this position right there. Now, what I want you to look at as she did that is beautiful. It's all through the middle of her body. Everything remained still. Her arms were moving, elbows flexing, lots of stuff happening within her mid and upper back. She's pressing through the toes, obviously extension of the hip at this point, lots of good contraction from the glute. But the point of the story here is everything around the middle remained still. Nothing moved. That is core stability. We were talking about this later and I said, hey, do you, do you know what was going on there? And she, she didn't even think about it. Why? She's really worked on the basics and fundamentals so that stability for her is intuitive now. She doesn't have to think about it consciously. That's just how she moved. Remember, she's in a three-point stance here. There could be a lot of twisting and turning, a dropping of the hips. Everything remains stiff, stable, and controlled that's core stability. Think about it. Think about how you're training your core and whether what you're doing is just about sweating and creating a burn or whether you're actually training your body in the way that it functions. Really important.